Hey everyone, this is Linden with HTC One Softmodder, and today I'd like to show you how to turn your HTC One into a Super Nintendo emulator. A quick note before I continue with the video, the use of emulators and ROMs may or may not be legal in your country, so make sure that you check with local laws before continuing and downloading uh, ROMs. So with that out of the way, I will like to show you how to use the emulator. There are many in the Google Play Store. I suggest the SNES 9X EX Plus emulator by Robert Brogilla. He creates a lot of emulators, uh, which I'll cover in later videos, and they all work pretty well. Um, and they are free as well, which is the best thing, right? So you'll need to download the emulator, and then you'll need to download ROMs from the internet on your device or uh, create them from Super Nintendo games. Uh, there are many sites that you can use to download ROMs. Uh, I won't mention any uh, just because of local and uh, federal laws or nation laws. Uh, you just use Google, you'll be able to find them. Uh, I suggest creating a folder on your internal storage to host them on. Just because I don't like any clutter on my internal storage and this way you'll know where all of the game ROMs are. I have provided an explanation on how to do so on the full dis uh, tutorial available in this, the description on, the, on this video. So I created a folder called ROMs on the root of the internal storage and then in that folder I have created a folder called uh, SNES that which uh, hosts all my uh, files. So uh, the first thing you'll have to do is install the emulator like I mentioned. You'll need to open the Google Play Store and install it. I've already done so, so I'm going to open the emulator. And here you'll see the main screen of the emulator. There's lots of options that you can use. Uh, let me load a game really quick and I will show you that it plays really well. If you have played a game before you'll notice it automatically saves wherever uh, you were last in the game which is a nice feature and it will prompt you to continue or restart the game I'm just going to continue and by default it opens in the portrait mode but you'll notice that the gameplay is really solid and everything works really well uh, you can rotate it into landscape mode if you want to play in landscape mode And if you want to get out of the game, you can just tap. There's a little arrow there in the right corner, which will bring up the menu. On the menu, there are sections to either load another game, uh, load your recent games, enable cheats, reset the system, and then load and save states. What that feature is, is that you can save a particular part of the game. Say you can't beat a portion of the game and you keep dying and uh, that way you can just load it really quick and you'll be back to where you were. It's a nice feature. Uh, the options, uh, video, audio, input system, and UI options. Uh, I would generally leave these alone. The default settings work really well with the, uh, the HTC One. The aspect ratio uh, I would leave as well. Unless you really can't stand the screen, you can make it full screen. Uh, just because the HTC One is 16 by 9, it's widescreen and it's not for uh, 3 ratio. Uh, input, you can adjust input settings if you want uh, to get a uh, third party controller, which I personally recommend just because it's easier to grasp a controller. Uh, something like the MOGA system works really well. Uh, you can adjust those settings here. system settings, uh, you can change the settings of the auto save state and uh, the confirmation, etc. Uh, additional settings, input device setup, that's where you're going to change to the third party controller if you have one. And then options for Wiimotes and Bluetooth and benchmarking and screenshots as well. And a, a, a ballot and exit option. 
Uh, if you're if you want to switch games, just tap load games and then continue. Everything's really quick and works really well. And it's very fluid, just as if you're playing the actual console. So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them on the video or check out the full tutorial on our HTC One Soft Monitor website. Uh, and you can leave uh, comments or questions on that page as well. I uh, hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions, once again, feel free to let us know. Thanks for watching.